Well, I stopped here in Knife City here off Route 66 called uh, Knife Efficiency. Knife Efficiency, that's very funny. I like that. I'm really into knives. I got this really big Swiss Army knife here out front, so I figured ah, I gotta stop in here real quick. Well, I did get some toys here. Got a new sharpening stone and one other thing that I'm not gonna share with the world. That's like security, right? You don't wanna talk about all of your security measures and everything, so and I'm happy. You can get back on the road and head towards the Petrified Forest National Park. Holy cow, look at this. This is only a small portion of the Painted Desert. It actually extends 7,500 square miles across northeastern Arizona. The sign says, because Petrified Forest National Park lies at its heart, the entire park contains the colorful rocks of the Painted Desert. So two things I almost forgot to mention. One is that wind that's been around for like the last week is gone. There's almost no wind today. Very interesting. And secondly, I'm not sick anymore. Maybe my throat's a little irritating, but all that coughing and runny nose and all that stuff, I finally kicked that cold. But it kicked my butt for about nine days. This park is amazing. I've already gotten more out of this park than I did the Grand Canyon. I just absolutely love the painted rock, all the reds and colors everywhere. It's a massive park. I just said it wasn't windy and now here's the wind. Of course, I could probably do that to myself. You know, it may be time to actually consider getting a little national park pass. I think they sell them for like 80 bucks or something. I just got one and you know, I paid $30 at Grand Canyon, $20 here, so that's 50 right there. Uh, three parks worth and you get your, your money's worth. So I may uh, get one, but it might be a little trail. So let's go walk the trail. Or we can skip it. Creatures on the trail. Hey, they do allow kitty cats here. Jax isn't gonna like that. So we got to this little point here in the Petrified Forest where we're meeting back up with Route 66. We're actually gonna go south here so you can see this neat old 60s or 50s uh, bumper chair here. They've even got it engraved into the concrete strip here with a rusty old piece of artwork here. Uh, the reason why we have to go over Route 66 is because the Petrified Forest goes south another 22 miles, I believe. And we're gonna go down there and see how far we can get and see what's going on down there. All right, Jax, we're going to go check out Pueco Pueblo. What do you think, Jax? Ready to explore? It says Village of the Rio Puerco. Prehistoric settlement built to shape sandstone blocks by ancestral Puebloan people. Inhabited between AD 1250 and 1380. Wow. Do, 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 do. I guess these are some old formations of the village. What a spectacular, beautiful day today. 
Oh yeah. What do you think, Jax? I know you get to go places, huh? Heck yeah. So we'll get a chance to see more petroglyphs, but there's a couple on the rocks here. And right there. Brought the wrong camera to zoom in, but still. We head to another part of the park that has some 650 uh, of them as well. So you can kind of see by this picture, they're trying to show you how they built the village around and had all the different housing and stuff, and then a big open plan here. I'll try to step up on this ledge here so you can get a better aerial shot over there. That's as high as I can get and show what's left of the ruins. When we came into the park today, actually the uh, ranger at the station told us that they, national parks, at least for this park, I don't know of all national parks, but they are in the works trying to make uh, drones allowed in national parks again, or at least this one. Uh, that's like something in the very near future might be allowed or permitted uh, with the right license or permits. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Jax? Exploring? Yeah. So this is the petroglyph rocks area. I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like if we walk out there, there might be an observatory with some uh, magnification lenses to see them. So we'll go try that out. Yeah. Can you see them there? Oh, yeah. Kind of on both sides of the rock. Pretty old writings. So it's too bad I couldn't really show you much of the petroglyphs. Sometimes you just can't capture it for YouTube, but you look in that little telescope they got over there and you can, it's like way zoomed in. It's like a thousand millimeters or something. It, it's a its a high zoom lens over there. So that's just more incentive for y'all to come down and check it out for yourself if you're on Route 66. That's uh, as far as I'm gonna go. <coughs> Don't start coughing again, Eric. Um, going to be, there's no other Route 66 stuff for the next 60 miles. There is no free campgrounds or anything listed that I could find. So unless I find something magically, I'm actually aiming towards the Arizona Welcome Center rest area, which is on just this side of the Arizona and New Mexico border, 61 miles away, and it'll take two hours to get there. Six, <laughs> apparently, uh, Google says that we're going to be going through a time zone change, which is weird because I thought, Arizona has its own time zone. Oh, no, wait. Navajo Reservation has their own time zone. So we're actually going to go back and forth. And then when we cross New Mexico, again, it'll be back to... Okay, it's kind of confusing. Anyway, I'll cut back in. If I see anything, otherwise I'll show you where I'm sleeping for the night. fine spot got to camp here that was a lot to take in there at the, at the forest and we didn't even go everywhere look who has uh, rejoined up with us Joey found us here at the rest stop <laughs> we got all of our RVs over here for the day this is actually one of the most amazing like rest areas I've seen um, really interesting rocks I'm gonna fly my drone over there actually and Kirby rocks over there just really weird unique funky stuff man what a day uh got a new magnet because it's the petrified forest it's a wooden petrified forest national park magnet so add that to my collection yeah let's see if we can get some views of that drone real quick
Well, the girls are in there eating their uh, vegan food, whatever you call it. <laughs> I went with my usual tater tots and uh, and chicken, chicken strips here. What I did to, uh, gosh, honey is what I use as a dipping sauce for my chicken. So I get these um, cupcake paper holder thing so I could get like 50 for a dollar at Walmart. Makes so I don't have to scrub off honey, ketchup, and barbecue sauce off the plates. But oh yeah, didn't that look good? You jealous? You're jealous, aren't you? Yes. Um, is there anything vegan over there? <laughs> Negative. Negative? Actually, it kind of looks like meat. Oh no, no, it's vegan meat. Oh, it's vegan yeah. meat. I tell my body. Wow. Vegan meat. Wow. It's vegan meat. <laughs> Whatever I believe is true. <laughs> There's an organic cow. <laughs> Now that my solar uh, security light has a chance to charge, I get a chance to show you. I'm going to walk up on the uh, passenger side here, and it's going to set up. There you go. Nice and bright. So it lights up uh, as you walk by, stays bright for about 20 seconds, and then it goes back to its duller stage, and uh, it stays on all night until it gets more charge tomorrow. Can you see Joey's green? mood lighting over there yeah I got my blue light yeah again this is a really nice little overnight spot rest area I guess would you guys be amazed if I said <coughs> I don't even know where I'm going tomorrow I have not actually let me put this into perspective I don't, I don't have any Google stars or marks or pins east of here um, I haven't even looked in my little Route 66 book any farther than this. So as far as I've gotten is to the border of New Mexico. And tomorrow, well, I'll be in New Mexico. So this is my last day in uh, Arizona. So I've got planning to do. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night is plan out where I want to go and see if I'm going to have any company. So Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.